Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. So, wickedness is real. What is the goal of wickedness? Why wickedness? What is the goal of the evil that we see in our society? What does Satan want to achieve with armed robbers and terrorists and wicked people in the villages and around witches and wizards, necromancers, people who try to project wickedness to people's lives? What is the goal? We must know where Satan is going. Why is he doing this? Hallelujah. What is the whole idea behind the, set, the, the devil trying to turn the heart of your father against you or your mother against you or your loved ones or your employer or your boss or your pastor, whatever? Why does Satan enjoy wickedness? What does it do to him? Hallelujah. Wickedness or evil generally is brought to attempt to achieve three things. Number one, to discredit God. To discredit God in your life. To discredit God. If there is anything Satan is obsessed about, is bringing you to a point where the credibility of God drops to zero in your life how many of you have had people say i used to trust god but right now i trust anything that works god or others have you heard people speak like that they say i remember i trusted god from 17 years till 40 years god didn't bring a husband right now i trust any other thing whether a stick a candle fire once it produces result i trust it that's exactly the goal of wickedness. When armed robbers attack you and you are shouting Jesus, Jesus and they still injure you and they wound you. When certain things happen, they attempt to discredit God. Discredit the word. Never forget this. The mystery of wickedness was put in place by Satan first in an attempt to prove that God is not as great as we claim he is. So, when a man has been victimized so much, that, that, that pain becomes a stronghold in his mind. How many of you have seen people that when you are praying, their eyes are even open, they are just looking at you, saying, in Jesus' name, Amen. While you are praying, they feel like slapping you. Once you just round up the prayer, they just move. You know they didn't believe this at all. The mystery of wickedness at work in their lives. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? When you tell your parents, oh, I'm attending Koinonia. God is doing great things. And then the devil orchestrates something terrible to happen. Are you getting me? Your father has an accident or something like that. And he returns back and you say, daddy, I just wanted you to know that I dropped your name in the prayer request. He will give you a dirty slap and say, you and all the liars and every man of God is a liar. The mystery of wickedness. 
number one, to discredit God. Do you not see that that was exactly what Lucifer tried to do in the Garden of Eden? He came and met Eve. Read his conversation with Eve. He said, did God really say if you eat of this fruit, you would die? Now, you know that he used half truth, right? He was not, he just patched it up. He said, but do you know that there is a story you do not know? And that's why, that's what you will know when you eat of this fruit. And truly, when they ate of the tree, the eye, their eyes were open and they began to have a sense of the knowledge of good and evil. So number one, to discredit God. Number two, number two, to weaken and possibly destroy your faith in God. To weaken and destroy your faith in God. The Bible says, be not weak in faith. Speaking about Abraham now. Be not weak in faith. The Bible says, he considered not. So, wickedness is orchestrated by Satan. Listen, please. Wickedness is orchestrated by Satan to weaken your faith. When you really see wickedness, you will need to trust God to stand. That's what philosophers are using. Why can a loving God allow children to be dying in Sudan? Is that not what people say? How can a loving God allow this and that to happen? And it weakens your faith. This is why Jesus says, if the son of man returns, will he find faith in the earth? Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? Especially for many of us who have been taught that when things go wrong in your life, it's a sign that something is wrong with you. It's a sign that something is wrong. Satan capitalizes on the inconsistency of that message. And when anything happens, you just believe that this trust you've been having in God. This is why Job said, though he slay me, Satan, you won't achieve what you are trying to achieve. Though he slay, are you seeing now? Job's wife came to a point where she was tired. She said, Job, Mio, I don't think God is faithful again. Curse God and die. When your wife tells you to curse God and die, that's a level of discouragement because she's supposed to be the last person that will stand by you. Are you getting my point now? So to discredit God, to discredit God, number two, to weaken or totally destroy your faith. Number three, what's the goal of the mystery of wickedness? To perpetuate, listen please, very important, to, I'm thinking of the best way to put it, to, to become a channel through which the program and the evil agenda of Satan for nations will continue. Let me explain what I mean. How many of you have heard that word covenant? Why will the devil want our forefathers huh, to go and bow to him and enter a covenant on behalf of people yet unborn? What, what, is, what is his passion about people that are not born yet? Are you getting what I'm, I'm trying to explain now? Because Satan is trying to secure a channel through which he can pass a transgenerational channel. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? Are you getting my point? So although it will take 30 or 50 or 100 years for this generation to be born, Satan will say, you, since you are representing them, and I'm going to explain this to you. I will explain to you, I hope, if I can remember, the mystery of reproduction. And you understand that reproduction is not just about sex and giving birth. The Bible says by one man, not one woman, sin was transferred. Are you getting me? By one man, through the blood. Praise the Lord. So, he now enters a covenant and says, alright, in this family, 
We will worship you. Give us children. We will worship you. Give us protection. Deal. Is that true? Now he can go and give birth to 30 children. No CS with his wife. No CS, no hospital. But there will not be any complication because a pact had been entered. Are you getting my point? Fast forward two or three generations, somebody comes up and says, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to involve myself with all of these things. Because, you see, I'm going to talk about the mystery of blood. Blood does not have time. It speaks. It will raise an alert in the realm of the spirit. Something is being compromised here. And the next thing that will happen is that these people, because they are trying to breach a contract. Are you getting me? So it will activate the mystery of wickedness. The devil will now come to say, who is trying to stop this? And if you have authority enough, you will be the one who will break that cycle and enact a new one. Are you getting me? And if you do not sustain enough knowledge, you will die. And then the devil will say, this is a, an example of what I can do with anybody who plays with me. And the other person will say, I'm willing. Are you getting my point now? I don't know how you are going to write the third point, but that's what, I, that's what the third point is. Praise the Lord. To become a channel through which transgenerational wickedness will be perpetuated. God bless you, sir. The mystery of wickedness. Look up. How many of you know that if there are no human beings in the earth, wickedness will be unfruitful. It won't yield any result. Is that true? When you understand this, you will know that wickedness will not cease. In fact, the Bible says it this way. The Bible says, um, how did he put it now? He says, ah, end time, Matthew 24, how did he put it? How that people will be offended, is that true? Paraphrasing, like wickedness will increase, the imaginations that are in the hearts of men will increase. Look at me. Those who are praying, listen, and I want you to get this. Those who want to solve their family problems by just saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, wickedness will not happen to me. When I finish with you, you will know that there are certain things that if you do not do, that prayer is incomplete. Because there is already a seed, like a gene. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you believe what I'm teaching? I know this is wrestling a lot of our theology. Oh, I'm in Christ. Calm down. We're, 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 we're heading somewhere. Because many of us have been cheated. Oh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. I will show you that your personal salvation does not change your territory. Are you getting my point? That I am born again does not automatically make my mother, brother, sister, and father born again. If that were the case, everybody would just kneel down on behalf of their clan and just accept Jesus once and for all and let's rest from this nonsense. Hallelujah. Is that true? So wickedness is real. And the goal is to discredit God. To weaken your faith. Every single arsenal that Satan launches at the believer is aimed at discrediting the faithfulness of God. Because he has a name and he is called faithful and true. That means he does not lie. That means he cannot lie. That means he is ever his 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 um ever faithful through all generations but when things begin to happen in your life that negate what the word of god is saying that's satan attempting to discredit god in your life say amen the mystery of wickedness wickedness is real brothers and sisters this operation is working in our government this operation is working in our families look at me look at me how many of you have heard the stories of parents who will put something hot iron and carry it and press it on their children 
Is that called discipline? That is the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Or a mother look at her own daughter and say, I curse you. You won't marry, you won't move forward. This is a, it's a spirit. It's not just an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying, please? And if we do not understand this and deal with this, it will limit us in a very mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening our eyes. So the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world, your village, your house, the job you are trying to look for, that office is in the midst of wickedness. You may be born again, but are your fellow employees born again? Hallelujah. And you are going to have to live with them. You do business with wicked people. You go to buy rice and buy gari from somebody who went to a herbalist. You bought it, you ate. Is that true? So you're not going to say, me, I'll only work with Christians. Uh -uh. It's impossible. You live in a world where everyone is permitted to believe what he wants to believe. And because of our interrelations, you must find yourself relating with people. So you must know how to keep Satan where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Are you following me so far? Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the realms and jurisdiction. The boundaries of demonic operation. I won't stay too long in this aspect because I guess that this is the part that has brought fear and confusion and this is one of the most unscriptural areas of spiritual warfare in terms of its explanation. This is where you have people um, write accounts in an attempt to show us the structure and the organogram. Are you following me now? I know that there are many books, hundreds and probably thousands and even millions on books of books on spiritual warfare, deliverance, and so on and so forth. And there are many opinions. Are you getting me? The Bible tells us something very interesting. It said, do not be ignorant of the devices. I told you the word devices is the word stratomai. His strategies. So, we are just concerned about his strategies. We are not necessarily concerned about the kingdom and what the organogram of the satanic kingdom is. Are you getting my point? I personally believe that an extensive study into the organogram and the structure of Satan is not really necessary. Especially in light of the fact that we know that in Christ he has been defeated. Are you following what I'm saying? So, I'm just guiding us just to bring awareness. There are many books and I've read some of them. You have read some of them. Hallelujah. They begin to tell you all kinds of things. They list physical territories in the earth where there are headquarters of demonic activities and so on and so forth. Now, I'm not, I do not have enough authority to dispute the things that are being written. Are you getting my point? Especially for those that do not compromise the written word of God. Some of these things were written by people who allegedly said they were part of the demonic kingdom and for some of them they were deep into occultism there are lots of books occult grandmaster now in christ there are books by rebecca brown mary baxter um dr olukoya who is considered to be an authority in the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare there are a lot of others you know different brothers prophets people and so on and so forth who have written books others went to heaven others went to hell others died and came back others just studied the bible so we have this extensive um description level 111 level 999 level 666 level you know this and that and that and for many people we have rather than concentrating on the strategies the methods of Satan and understanding our victory, we have paid attention trying to study and research on the organization of the demonic kingdom. Let me tell you something. If you do that, the danger is that everything will suddenly become demonic around you. Have you seen people like that? Why are you looking at me like this? They just say, Kai. This lady, you are, because of something they read, they say, okay, in our kingdom, 
when we want to seduce a man, we look at him like this. So a lady is quietly, she's even feeling sleepy and just looking at you. Just say, Kai, in Jesus' name, don't, blood of Jesus, you are putting sign of the cross. So we don't want to see this kind of immaturity in the body of Christ. That's why there must be a balance. Are you following me? There are people who don't wear black on Friday or on Sunday because they read a book and they say, every time you wear black on Friday, notice, check left, you will see a star. That's a sign that we are coming out. You know, and all kinds of sects come up with... Now, I hope you understand that I'm not condemning anybody. You get my point? I'm only trying to explain to you that it is quite counterproductive to spend all of our time and energy trying to understand the entire organization listen how many ceos maintain the same structures they change so that you were delivered from occult in 1980 does not mean the organogram that used to exist still exists it is logical for any leader to be dynamic are you getting my point so when you come and say okay there is a demon his name is Luke. He's the one in charge of Zaria. He's the one appointed to stop Koinonia. His name is Luke. What if Luke... What? What, what if Luke was promoted or demoted and they now brought another person and you are still advocating and you say, Luke, I'm speaking to you now. You are hearing my voice. Luke is somewhere saying me. I'm not even in Nigeria again. And now you're shouting. You see, there is a lot of spiritual ignorance. A lot of it. And most of this has come because we have uh, not necessarily gone out of scripture, but taken other materials and used them as the ultimate templates to help us understand the realm of the spirit. I think sufficient enough is the information the Bible gave us about Satan. I believe it is sufficient enough. Praise God. You get my point? If you were in the occult before and you were delivered and you wrote a book, please don't feel sad. If you wrote prayer point that your book should increase, it will increase. We prayed for you. Hallelujah. But at the same time, don't go about sitting down teaching people and saying, okay, in the realm of the spirit, red means danger. White means this. Yellow means this. So, don't wear yellow shirts. If you really mean business with prosperity, keep yellow shirts aside. This is part of the teaching that has moved from church to church and place to place. So, we have brought religiosity and a lot of forms of religion in an attempt to keep Satan. There is nowhere in scripture, listen, or you say, ah, don't take products from Procter & Gamble. They are Freemason and all of that. What do they make? How many of you have used their inhaler? You force it in your nose and you are, and did you go to hell? Did demons come to disturb you? You see, I'm saying this thing because we are touching on this topic and I'm trying to clear the air. There are many of you who say, I know somebody is a bad person. He sells meat. Me, I know this guy goes to the Habalis. We won't eat his meat. Question. The one you have been eating before, who told you that that meat was not taken to a herbalist? Are you getting my point? Rather than allowing fear put religious rules, why don't you rise up in Revelation and realize that the Bible says a thousand shall come by your side. Only God knows how many poisons I've eaten in my life. Because the Bible says when they serve you, just give thanks and eat. Hallelujah. Many of us don't eat certain people's food. Just say, this lady is always frowning. At. I won't eat her food though. I don't know what I've entered right now. And then many of us, listen, I have had other teachings. Aha, let me even talk about it. I've had other teachings that say somebody can come to you. Come. He can just come and hug you and he has initiated you. Listen, let me balance something very quick. Was that how you got born again? You think, listen, I want you to understand that the will of man is a powerful force. Even Jesus stood at the door of the heart and was knocking until man agreed to open. 
Are you getting my point? If you are not in Christ or you are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom, it is possible. Are you getting my point? But to now come and say, oh, because I'm just sitting down and you came to put with one on my head, suddenly I've been initiated, except you don't carry fire. The witch doctor together with his fire, it will burn into ashes there. There was a time people were complaining that a particular woman in Joss, she was doing some kinds of funny things and then getting power to make people come and eat her food. You know how many people ate that food? <laughs> when they told me the restaurant, I laughed. I said, oh Lord, I don't know whether I've eaten here or not, but it cannot have power over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift, lift up, up my, my soul. soul. Oh, my, oh my God, God. I, I trust, trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me i pity the person that will go to a coven and call my name that's the last time you have the opportunity to shout it believe me see i'm rushing myself because let me see if we can get to weapons of victory except you don't know the spiritual arsenals you carry let me tell you satan can bow this is the sweetest part of this gist. That's why I want to rush all these things so that we'll get there. Say after me, Satan can bow. I hate the way Satan has been so magnified. There are many people who teach. They say, do you know that these classes of demons are so powerful? Not even you can stand them. There are people who believe that. I don't believe that. Absolutely. I don't believe it. The Bible says God gave him a name that is above every other name. He said at the mention of that name, every knee, not some, every knee must bow. Hallelujah. Let's rush. So, jurisdiction, number one. Number one. The realm of the spirit. Territories of operation. Or realms of operation. Number one. The Bible says that they operate in heavenly places. So that is a realm of demonic operation. Please write quickly. Can you put strings? I'll put it on door. Hallelujah. Wickedness. Now, these are the territories that exert it upon government. Remember that the bible says there's no time to show you this the bible says when daniel was praying remember the story the bible says that principality that was operating over the territory of persia the prince of persia withstood the prayers of daniel is that true when gabriel was going to bring him the answer he said when he, when gabriel arrived he said from the very first day that you set yourself to pray your prayers were heard okay and while he was coming the prince of that territory so there are powers that station themselves across territories that's why you can see that certain geographical territories exhibit similarities of certain character is that true you find out that certain people certain territories the men are irresponsible certain territories you know they, they, are, they are given to anger. Certain territories, they are given to irresponsibility and all kinds of things. You find out that it's a common trait because of these operations of darkness in the heavenlies. Second is the air. Please take notes. This is very important. Notice that it is the features that the Holy Spirit uses to manifest himself that Satan also operates there. The air. The Bible talks of the prince of the power of the air. These spiritual forces of wickedness are the ones who manipulate and control people because the media is through the power of the air. Are you getting my point now? They are, they are the ones who initiate mind control systems. 
And this is probably one of the most disastrous manifestations of darkness. Deception and ignorance. Are you learning something now? So the air, the prince of the power of the air. Second scriptural proof that the air is one jurisdiction of operation. Remember when Jesus was going to meet the madman in Gadara. What happened? The Bible says suddenly the winds and the waves became boisterous. But Jesus looked and he knew that this was not just about wind. This was not just about the storm. Look at the tsunami that happens. Is it not wind? Wind. These are spirits. It's just that we cannot see it with our optical eyes. They are spirits. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? So the air. Number three. Water. Water. This is very important. This is where we talk about the marine world. Or marine spirits. This is the jurisdiction of darkness that is responsible for prosperity, for lust, for seduction, and all kinds of perversion. Every kind of immoral perversion is associated with this dimension of demonic operation. Water. Very important. Are you learning something tonight? Water. And this one is very important that's why you find out that territories that are covered around the river Rhine areas exhibit attitudes of lust are you getting me lost unfaithfulness in marriage and all kinds of you see it rampant are you getting my point this is spiritual intelligence i will give you sufficient to the point that you need that i believe you can research more but i think that explaining to you what i'm explaining to you is giving you intelligence so that when you are talking with people it's like a doctor diagnosing a patient with this spiritual intelligence you will understand you will know how to act hallelujah praise the lord there was a time i remember at the bar beach it was it was a popular issue that uh, i think a particular bank or organization built a glass house is that true they built a glass house and the witches and wizards around the marine, they wrote a letter to them. They said, you better do something about those buildings before we scatter it. You are interrupting us. Water. Very important. Very important. Job began to talk of the deep sea creatures. He called it Leviathan. The deep sea creatures that arise from the water. You read the book of Revelations and it tells you, you see the interaction of water and all of these things. So I've told you the realm of the spirit, the air, the atmosphere. The water. This water one is very serious. Do you know something? I will show you from scripture something that may surprise you. Do you know everything you see in existence, the animals and the rest, do you know they came out of water? They came out of water. Genesis, let me show you very quickly. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army, the rising up. They'll break every chain, 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 break every chain. Help me search for it. Genesis 2. Verse what? 21? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Good Bible students. Verse 20 and 21. Genesis 1. Are you there? I just want to show you 
that the water is a very mysterious object. And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So there is a mystery of abundance and water. Are you understanding me? Is it in your Bible? He said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. Mm. The moving creature that have life. Where did they come out from? He said, and the fowl that may fly. Even the fowl came out of the water. It's in your Bible. Above the earth, in the open firmaments of the heaven, verse 21. And God created great sea monsters. And every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Are you seeing now? Is it in your Bible? The water. Very, very important. This is why Satan associates himself a lot. And there are many demonic diabolic things that happen with water hallelujah the next medium of manifestation is fire notice that these are the same expressions of the spirit fire almost everyone here or most of our villages have festivals there is no festival without fire. How many of you have seen diabolic people put fire and keep putting it around them? What are they trying to achieve? It is a realm of operation of demonic substances. See, let me tell you something. Fire is a big mystery. Big mystery. You can't hold it. It doesn't fear anything, but it consumes everything that come ar comes around it. Hallelujah. Fire. Very important. Even the world will be judged with fire. The first judgment was with water. The second judgment will be with fire. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Number what? Five. I'm going to give it to you now. The fifth one is the earth. Dust. Earth. Adam. Look at me. How many of you have seen people in your village get angry and they carried sand and spoke to it and dropped it back? Or like the Igbo people do, when they take small drink, they pour small on the ground and say to our ancestors. Hmm. What is it about the earth? The prophet looked and said, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. That means the earth is not non-living like we teach in biology. It was in the days of Moses. The Bible says the people rebelled against God and the earth opened its mouth. It has mouth. It swallowed them. Till tomorrow we cannot find them. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? These are jurisdictions of operation. That's why priests and the rest put their shrines on the ground and then they sit down even if you give them one million they won't go and build a luxurious house that earth they must associate themselves with the earth hallelujah these levels this medium these realms of operation every manifestation every single medium of manifestation let me give you one more are you ready human beings human vessels as far as satan is concerned this is the best medium of manifestation why because every other thing i've listed does not have a will they don't have willpower as it were are you getting me and they don't have souls only human beings have souls please are you learning something So Satan entered the madman. Remember the madman in Gadara. Do you know that the entire spirits across those territories, they were resident in that man. He stayed in caves. He was alone. He caught himself. 
But the moment Jesus was coming, without any publicity, he came out and went to wait close to the water and was waiting for Jesus to arrive. Immediately Jesus arrived, he began to talk to him. He said, we know who you are. Have you come to destroy us before our time? What time? What time did Satan teach them? Let me tell you something about the powers of darkness that you must understand. When they say their time has not come, what that means is this. Listen, you cannot seize their operation from the earth, but you can seize their operation from your territory. Are you getting this? Please understand this. That's why we can't all sit down right now and say, Satan, leave the whole world. Go to Venus or Mars. Relocate there. After all, it's empty. Go and build a new kingdom. Leave us in peace. So says the apostles and the prophets. No, you can't do that. What you can do, even Jesus, while he was on earth, he didn't cast Satan out of everywhere. Wherever he met with him, he told him, Mr. Man, go. Listen, Jesus himself answered one request of demons. They said, please cast us to the pigs. What did he say? In other words, he knew that as far as exiting this realm is concerned, they are not going to leave. What we can do, are you getting my point? So that there are certain prayers we will stop praying at once. Are you getting my point? Many people pray and what they mean by their prayer is to tell the devil, bye-bye, pack your load and go. Let me not see you and don't even go. Have you had that prayer? I cast you into Gehenna. Have you had that kind of prayer? Don't come out again. Uh, is that really an accurate prayer? No, no, don't feel bad. Believe me. With the kind of prayerful people on earth, if that prayer were answerable by now, there would have been some clear air that shows that sufficient demons have gone down to Gehenna. Gehenna is called the place of the dead. Are you getting my point? Listen, he said resist the devil. There are people that pray all kinds of prayers. Oh, we cast you and we lock you up across a forest. Just stay there. Those kinds of prayers are not accurate prayers please please listen don't be offended if you are used to praying those kinds of prayer but i want you to know that we cannot cast satan and demons out of the earth we can only secure our territory are you getting my point because the bible says satan is like a roaring lion he's like that he moves to and fro praise the lord Say, I'm learning something. Water, wind, the atmosphere. I just want you to know that these are operations of darkness. Every time a native doctor or a herbalist wants to do certain things, one or more of these elements must be in place. Yet, these are the same elements that the Holy Spirit associates himself with. What does that tell you? Discrediting God. You see that? Thank you, Jesus. Let's touch on weapons of victory. I'll just use one and then we'll stop. Where? What's the time? Oh, there's time. Praise God. Don't look at the time. Look at me. The clock is not preaching to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, before we talk of the weapons of victory, let me just speak very quickly on the strategies of Satan. The strategies. The strategies. This is, I think this is the one that is very important. Strategies. There are three main strategies from scripture. They will not change. This is the one you can bank on. They will not change. Do not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai, his strategy, his way of doing things. It can come in different forms, but it is one of these three. Number one, I shared it last week, ignorance. 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 
2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. Ignorance. Are you there? Okay, I thought it was projected. Let me turn there. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. In whom the God of this world. Okay. 2 Corinthians 4. Not Chronicles. Sorry. 2 Corinthians. No problem. Let's continue. In whom the God of this world or this age. The word age there is aeon. In whom the God of this system. The thinking pattern of this system has blinded the minds of them who believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine upon them is that in your bible it says satan did what blinded their minds everybody say ignorance the number one and hear me as sophisticated as satan looks his greatest strategy is to maintain ignorance in the lives of believers or across territory. Say ignorance. Notice, every manifestation of wickedness in the earth realm has been strengthened by the ignorance of the people. Because the moment they know, they will revolt until victory comes. Every bad government in the world has been able to execute its agenda by enforcing ignorance. Are you getting that? That's the spirit of the power of darkness. Say ignorance. Ignorance. Now, come. Any other guy again? Come. I need two gentlemen. Stand here, stand here. I want to explain something. Stand here, stand here. Now, please, everybody look at me. I want you to understand this. And I pray you get this revelation in Jesus' name. There are two sides to the understanding of the kingdom please don't forget there are what two sides the first is understanding the person of jesus christ the person of jesus christ the second is the principles of jesus christ and that's what we call the principles of the kingdom is that true are you following me please so the person of jesus christ when you come under the lordship of jesus christ when you surrender to jesus christ you have embraced his person but that does not automatically mean that you have knowledge of the principles of the kingdom are you getting my point the person of jesus christ secures your eternal destiny and secures your peace the principles of jesus christ secure your victory in this earth realm so there are many well-meaning believers who know the person of Jesus Christ in terms of their loyalty to him but they lack sufficient understanding of kingdom principles are you getting my point for instance there are many well-meaning Christians who are poor and broke and they may remain like that forever and they believe that just by being close to Jesus Christ automatically prosperity comes no there there is a kingdom principle that governs it is that true there are many people although they are close to god many people hate them because the kingdom principle for access is honor are you getting my point now so whether you are a christian or not when you dishonor people you will never have access are you getting my point so there is ignorance what satan tries to do is to take this first level of ignorance to stop you from seeing the light of the gospel to come to jesus christ in the first place but if he does not succeed and by any means you surrender your heart to jesus christ this becomes the second phase of the ignorance he stops you are you getting my point now so there are many well-meaning christians who the devil has lost it on them as far as the person of Jesus is concerned. But he has shielded them from understanding the principles of the kingdom. That's why when somebody gets born again, the next mission is to subject him under a radical teaching ministry. Where 
the principles of the kingdom will be taught and then he will understand this is what spiritual growth is about growing in intimacy this is why we call koinonia intimacy and partnership intimacy is our knowledge as we progress deeper to know god partnership is our working with the word and with the spirit are you getting my point now do you understand this this explanation i've given you because the greatest tool that satan uses his number one strategy is what ignorance so an unbeliever comes how many of you have seen a lot of unbelievers who understand bible verses they understand a lot of bible verses you say something they ask you they say okay let's turn to the book of matthew i have this and that and the next thing they will not accept the simplicity of the gospel are you getting me to surrender to jesus christ then when they eventually surrender the devil makes them feel that there is nothing more in the kingdom so they remain in church and they think remaining in church is equal to spiritual growth so eventually they tell you i've been here 20 years and based on that there is nothing you will tell me ignorance of the principles are you getting my point this is the deliverance that is happening to some of you right now because you are born again but you don't know why things are not moving the way the word says should be could it be that you do not yet have the comprehension paul himself prayed in ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 to the efficient church who were already born again he said for this cause i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ the father of glory that he may grant unto you the spirit of what wisdom and understanding or revelation the eyes of your understanding being enlightened flooded with light that ye may know so the bible tells us that according as his divine power has given us what all things but those all things are encapsulated in knowledge when you have access to the principles the door opens up to you at once that's why all things are not possible for everybody what is possible for me although we are all equal in christ but our comprehension of kingdom principles have created the divide so i can speak to a demon spirit and say go and he will go not because my born again is greater than your own but my i have a greater comprehension two students in the same class taught by the same teacher one gets 100 one gets 50. are you seeing that now it is the degree of their comprehension it is because of that that some will be a 30-fold some will be a 60-fold and some will bear what they all produced but according the bible says those who were on good soil were the ones who had and understood but the difference was their degree of understanding are you following me now say the person of jesus say the principles of jesus say the person of jesus say the principles of the kingdom the question i want to ask you is how many principles of the kingdom do you know this is the measure see listen listen this is very important healing for instance healing comes from the body of jesus by his stripes we are healed are you seeing that favor does not just happen automatically so when you understand the laws of the spirit then you will know how to navigate through life so whenever you you see a roadblock you go back and search out diligently what kingdom principle is responsible for the result you are looking for because if God did it, then it is possible. It is only the light that will open the door. So arise and shine. Not because you want to arise. Your light, access. When that revelation comes and you understand it, the door is opened at once. If you understand what I'm teaching right now, it's automatic. You don't need to pray about it. That's why, see, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was moving around, waiting for those who will understand and believe so that at once it will be activated. While Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on them because they understood and they believed immediately. 
Are you getting the point now? So when the word of God returns to him, it's because he did not find a believer. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me? Bless you. Bless you. Weapons of victory. Let me just take one. The name of Jesus. Hmm. I will share a revelation about the name. There are many weapons of victory. Maybe let me just run to a few of them. The name of Jesus. The mystery of the blood of Jesus. Listen. The power of praise. The power of a seed. I'm going to teach you the weapon, spiritual arsenals that will lock the hands of Satan at once. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. The power of unity. The power of love. All of these are dangerous spiritual weapons that will keep Satan where he belongs. Is this teaching benefiting you? Are you getting something? So I'll just take on one of them. The power of the name of Jesus. We'll sing that song. There is power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We'll sing that song one more time. To the shame of the devil. And then we'll just pray. Just pray in tongues for a minute or two. And then you sit down. I'm about to give you a revelation that will set you on fire. Shabakatalabaka presekete baladadada. Shembreda baladadada. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. 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 Sing it one more time. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can you stretch in tongues for just one minute? Shakata pakata preketa. Mamrosote kata balada baka. Shapata la baka. Mamrosote kata baka. Shapata. Ipa pa pa pa. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power. Ipa pa pa. In the name of Jesus. There is power. Ipa pa pa. Shoko toni ga ba. Ipa pa pa. Mamrosote kata baka. Mamrosote kata baka. Ipa pa pa. Shoko toni ga ba. Power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Ilando so papa prediana bako sa kapataya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bibles. Let me have your attention. Lord, let our eyes be open. Show us something powerful. Let me tell you something. There are many of you. If you catch this revelation tonight. You will be amazed. This name will work for you. Years ago, I called this name. Oh, nothing happened. I shouted Jesus. I said it like a special number. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. I show you a mystery right now. Mark... 16. Break every chain. There are some chains that need to be broken. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Verse 15. Mark 16, 
15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Take my value system to every creature. He said, He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe, believe not shall be damned. 17, if you are a believer, please read it. One to read is projected. Stop. Stop. This sign shall follow them that believe. They will do certain things when they have a revelation of my name. He said, in my name, they will do what? It tells you all the things that can be possible in the name. In my name, they shall, number one. Number two. Number three. They shall take up what? Hold on. What is the meaning of that? What is they shall take up serpent? What is the meaning of they shall take up serpents? I will soon explain it to you. Because Jesus told Moses, I mean God told Moses, remember, he said, take the serpent from the tail. I will show you what that means. They shall take up serpents. It doesn't just mean carry a physical snake. Remember at the burning bush, when Moses met with God, I, you remember, are you getting my point? He threw the rod. Is that not true? And he told him to take it. To hold it by the tail. Is it not in your Bible? I will show you what that means. To take up serpents. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. I will show you a scripture that says the horn in a man's body is on his hands. A horn is a symbol of power. Are you getting my point? So he said with that horn you will take up serpents. It's a mystery. I will explain. He said, in my name, that will happen. He said, and if they drink any deadly thing, that means if they move in my name, no poison will harm them. So long as it is in my name. He said, they shall lay hands. I will show you the mystery of the laying on of hands. It's not just about touching people. The horn in a man's body is his hand. The apostle said that you will stretch forth your mighty hands. The right hand of God, the Bible says, is the hand of power. Not his right leg. He said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Listen, I want to explain to you the mystery of the name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, if I call you, come. Benga. The first revelation of the name of a man is it invites his presence. When you invoke the name of a man, his presence is encapsulated in his name. Are you seeing this? I called his name and what happened? His presence showed up. So the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming their words with signs. It happened because a personality was answering to his name. So they went in the name. This is what it means to come in the name of the Lord. To come with the backing, the presence of God. Weapons of victory that can kick any satanic arsenal out of your life. Hallelujah. Watch this. I called his name. And he confirmed that that name is true. The name of a man is his identity. Every time, see, listen, listen. That's why when God met certain people, he changed their names. Because the name of a man represents the prophecy of his life. It represents his ability. It represents the prophecy upon his life. When he met Jacob, he said, no, you are not a cheat and a supplanter. As a prince with God, you have fought and prevailed. I changed your name to Israel. And the prophecy started following him. The mother of Jabez bore him in sorrow. And all through his life, the name was following him. Name follows people. A name is a spirit. It's a presence. And Jabez said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my name. Hallelujah. Are you getting the revelation now? So the first revelation is that the name of Jesus compels his presence to show up in that scene. Listen. Now you understand what Paul was saying. Say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring God or who will go to the deep. He said, but the word is near you. 
even in your mouth. That means when it is uttered with revelation, the presence shows up. No time, no distance. Are you getting my point? This is a very, very powerful revelation. Very powerful revelation. You must believe this. Let me demonstrate something. Take this, hold it. This is ordinary handkerchief. Who brought this handkerchief? Are you seeing this? This is an ordinary handkerchief. He's holding it, right? Give it back to me. Watch the power of the name. This is not just for Jamboree. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Hold this. Hold it. What is the difference? He just held this. Is it not so? He held this. He held this. You see the power of God there breaking out again. See, this is a revelation. This is why saying in Jesus' name is not what will bring the miracle. There is a revelation. This is what I want you to know. It will rattle from the realm of the spirit and it will affect you in this realm. This is a handkerchief he held. That's why I did it in your presence. It's the name. Say not in your heart. Who will go and bring him from heaven? He is closer to you. This is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. unbelief so you can be listen you can say jesus jesus nothing will happen the next thing i want you to know is what is really this name let's examine it what is the name we have said what the name can do but what is the name look up please i want to shock you listen the name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. -S. Listen. The Bible says Isaiah speaking. He said you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said that will be his name. The name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic is not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. -E Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya. Mambrosko pe kataliya ba 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 ba. Zeke broska bariata. Sokotopa. Sopadiata. Embreke teka. Bashote ka. Rento sopakata. Zeke telekete. In the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Embreke teke ba usha pariada ba ko. Zeke teke ne ba. Epa sapata predi ba ko sapataya. Get this revelation tonight. Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new realm. A new dimension. You don't have to shake it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen, listen, look at me, look at me, listen, I want to explain something to you, listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when I tell you all men are not equal. 
we are equal in Christ but something has separated people the Bible says there are some bodies terrestrial some celestial not everybody you see is the same it's not pride this is why we are bringing us higher I tell you the truth you will shake hell this is how you will live as if Satan does not exist you are coming in the name hallelujah Philippians chapter 2 God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. Breakthroughs are already happening. Deliverances are happening. Believe it. Deliverances are happening. I give the chains falling. Shakata baladaba. Strongholds, I, I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I, I give the, the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command a big captivity. Talk to and tell now. Every sickness, go. Every infirmity, go. 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 Every yoke. Every disease. I hear the chain. I hear the chain. Shakata bakata la ba 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 ba. Chains Hallelujah. Look at me. Let me show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy life and let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy life let hope rise was the same person that ministered the same person that seemed 
Many of you do not understand the power in the name. Jesus didn't lie to us. Believe me, that name is powerful. That name is powerful. Every demon and every spirit, just the Simba, in this place right now, every foul devil, at the count of three, I come in the name. Go, 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 go. Every spirit, every demon, every devil, I command you in the name. Go out, out. You will not return again. Go, go. He said in his name, we will cast out demons. I cast out demons now in that name. Go, go, go. I take a baba baba baba. cabra. So proto so pregete. Every problem you have come here with tonight. It leaves you here now. Yeah. Every problem you came here with, I don't yeah. care what it is. In the name, yeah. in the name, it will bow now. Yeah. Every problem, yeah. every problem, every yeah. challenge, health, yeah. finance. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Please sit down if you can. We have to finish this. Please sit down. Sit down. Kadabala kata brondo soto la kosha. Sit down if you can. If they can't sit down, just leave them, please. We have to hurry up. I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you. The goal is not to watch a man of God do this. The goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now. Take that name. Go and dislodge powers in your house. Let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion. Without a demonstration of the kingdom, they will doubt you. Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special, supernatural, about the name Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Listen. God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's hurry up. There are many 
weapons of victory but I'll talk on one Philippians chapter 2 let's take it from verse 8 and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross verse 9 wherefore Kabbalataya, God had so highly exalted him stop I taught us last week that until Jesus died and rose again he was not yet exalted is that true listen I want to surprise you the name was not yet given to man officially until he was coronated are you getting me because as it were when Jesus was on the earth his name was limited why was it limited because he was a man and he had not defeated death so the last enemy to be destroyed death still had power over him are you getting my point this is the reason listen please this is the reason why when he sent the 70 he begged them not to go to certain places because the power would not work there but when he resurrected, remember Mary wanted to touch him. And he said, no, don't touch me. You will corrupt a coronation that is about to take place. This is what the psalmist saw. And he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my... That was the coronation service of Jesus. The moment that happened, he returned to earth. And he said, all hail. Now, all power has been given. Go therefore no boundaries no limitations you just go anywhere it will work because a coronation had happened are you getting the point now so it begins to give us by revelation paul said wherefore god exalted him and gave him that means before then it had not been given he gave him a name what is this name that we have been looking for he said which is above every other name verse 10 whatever that name is whenever that name of jesus he said at the name of jesus the name is not jesus every knee should bow at the name that was given to this person called jesus you get my point every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth ready for the name let me show you 11 and every tongue should confess that that jesus christ has now received a name that is called lord that's the name that's the name that was given to him look at it that's the name lord psalm 24 quickly psalm 24 psalm 24 verse 1 psalm 24 verse 1 are you there everybody read one to go stop did he say the earth belongs to god do you know what lord is lord means master lord means owner Ma lord means authorized legislator authorized so the earth belongs to whoever will bear this name called lord the name was reserved no one had taken the name yet when jesus defeated death god said you now qualify take the name so you now become the literal possessor of the earth are you getting me now the earth is the lord's so the bible says if you want the name here is the condition the name is upon a mountain but who shall ascend to that hill and who shall stand in his holy place this is the requirement he that has clean hands and a pure heart no man qualified to ascend that hill but jesus was as a man tempted like us yet without sin so he ascended the mountain that's why the bible says before he led captivity captive he first ascended he descended after that he ascended he took the name and he came back and he entered the room without the door and he said all hail 
all authority has been given to me listen this is what Jesus said listen he said whoever believes in me I will give the privilege to share my name you get the point that name Lord so just like me he will become an authorized legislator so in my name he will cast out devils so that it will not make any difference whether it was Jesus speaking physically or you or a handkerchief whatever comes in the name brings the presence of Jesus directly that's why whether you speak English or Hausa or Greek demons don't hear those things they didn't speak English in Bible days all you need to do is come in the name so handkerchiefs and aprons were taken handkerchiefs and aprons they contacted the name Lord it says and the fullness thereof the world and all they that dwell therein listen 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 please the Lordship of Jesus is the revelation that when you come under you have carried the name it's not Jesus it is a revelation that this man God has made him both Lord and Christ he's not just the anointed but he has become the owner are you listening to me so if I look at this sister for instance I come in the name because she belongs to God I have the authority to cast out whatever is molesting her because I come in the name are you getting the revelation hold on many people think it is J-E-S-U-S -S. do you know why we shout Jesus we want unbelievers to know that the owner of that name is Jesus are you getting my point when you tell demons go is go J-E-S-U-S is go L-O-R-D they search in the spirit to see whether you have the revelation of that name once you have it they will obey you so after this night you will go back home in the name many of you you will go and look for what you left and say where is it and it will say I left because the person who left was not the person who came back you came in the name remember there was a certain time even the disciples could not cast out devils from the epileptic patient because they did not have the name they thought it was just Jesus doing a lot of things now when they had the name Peter was angry in Acts 3 he said now is my time to shine he saw the man who was lame and the Bible says it says silver and gold I don't have but I have something you can know you have something he said this is what I have in the name you see that that was his treasure he said this one no man can take it from me I may not have silver and gold but I have something that can solve your problem in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up the man was still looking at him and Peter said you don't know the power of the name I'm invoking he held him and the Bible says he leaping stood son of man he said can these dry bones live he said I don't know he said all right now you prophesy he said I prophesied as I was commanded that's the secret when God gives you his name he has authorized you to legislate on his behalf as many as received him he gave them power the power is not falling and rolling on the floor the power is the ability to share in his lordship Hallelujah. This is what makes ordinary men to become something else. So that you see an ordinary man moving. But you don't try him when he calls on a government that is bigger than you. You see that? We are going to pray. I've been hearing that there are many people that molest people on their way home. We are going to pray. Let me tell you the truth. I pity the next person that would try to molest anybody here the name is the name listen 
Please, I want you to believe this. Believe this. Years ago, they stole my laptop. Thieves came to our house. We we're all sleeping. They just carried the laptop, and my brothers were running to chase them. And honestly, when I got up, I just had commotion and I was laughing. My own was not that I lost, that I was just laughing. I said, Oh, God, I love you. If my laptop doesn't return, give me money to buy another one. And an angel appeared before me and he just did this. And that was the end of it. Seven hours later, the laptop was back on my table. Hallelujah. Some people from nowhere mobilized themselves and made up their mind to look for the thief. They went and caught him in Pisa. I was busy counseling. The name, see, the name of Jesus is powerful. Don't let secular humanism or the things that, you, that did not work for you before make you think it does not work. Are you getting me? You say, ah, but I use the name. I told you they stole my wallet. My, the wallet didn't come back. But that does not ever mean that the name is not powerful. This is the problem with a lot of people. We are too, our, our faith is too small. The moment something does not happen, we just conclude. This thing doesn't work. You think so? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me stop here. We'll continue next week. Rise up. I feel the spirit of prayer. Hold your hands together. Come, take a take a labakaya. So top prakata take a prakata prakata. Hold your hands and pray in the spirit just for five minutes. Please, all the instruments coming. Pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us have not yet submitted to the lordship you have given your heart to the lord that's true but you have not come under his influence tonight you are going to pray and say lord i willingly submit to your authority to your government pray and watch the wonder watch the wonder of what will begin to happen in your life Inside and outside, make sure you are praying. Brothers, stop up and yell at my cross. Second, let me get Lord, I submit to your governing influence. Lord, I submit to your mighty hand. I submit. I submit. Lord, I submit. Every Hallelujah. Listen. The centurion surprised Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a revelation that touched him. The, Jesus said, let's go to your house. 
He said, no, you don't need to go. For I am a man under authority. I'm under the authority of the Roman government. And by reason of being under that authority, I tell one, go, and he will go. I'll tell the other, come. And Jesus said, what? I've not seen this kind of faith, this kind of revelation in Israel. Submit yourself to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil. Hallelujah. 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 In the next five minutes, I like you. I don't know how you are going to pray. Leave your hands. Praise God. I know we are men of prayer. Listen, you have been confronting darkness, but you try it now in the name. You, you see the revelation. David met Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spears, but I come to you in a name. In a name. You come to me with bow and arrow. I mean, I may be small, but there is a name, an office. I invoke the power of an office. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what the Lord is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. What is it that he cannot do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. The God of wonders that can change situations. That is too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues that have been affecting your life and your family in the next five minutes tell it i confront you in the name that sickness in the name come on prayer warriors come on prayer warriors we confront in the name in the name, the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in His temple. The Lord is in His temple. The situation in my family is changing. Is changing. Is changing. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command healing. I command miracles. Jobs. Command your marriage. Command your prayer life to come alive. Confront. For unemployment issue. Confront your business. Confront your family. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Set a dead loss. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke Let souls Let miracles occur Let testimonies occur Lord I release breakthrough 
Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, you are going to say, I take my eyes away from every challenge. Whatever the devil has used to discredit God in my life. Are you hearing me? There are many of us that cannot trust God because of the things that have happened or the things that are happening the bible says abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief he considered not the deadness of sarah's womb although she was close to a hundred years he counted him faithful faithful god cannot lie satan can be tired your faith can weary the devil listen Right now, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say, I take my eyes away. I don't care what is not working or what is working. God, you are faithful and your word must come to pass. You are not a man. Come on, lift your faith. Lift your voice and pray. Provoke faith. I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. Let faith rise in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The job will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faith filled generation. is a place of faith. They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. Thou cannot be shaken, but abide there forevermore. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Hallelujah. hallelujah yes i see a lot of testimonies coming mighty testimonies believe me mighty testimonies hallelujah praise the lord the last prayer point i'm led for us to do this hallelujah you're going to hold hands with somebody if you can pair yourselves into three that will be excellent you are going to pray for the finances of the people in that circle. Provoke the heavens to be open. The Lord in this month, if, if there are not enough people, just hold two or three, anybody. Come on, pray now. We command it. We command it. In the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, testimonies. Pray, it will happen. Pray, it will work. Pray. 
he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint visit families oh god visit your people in mighty ways visit your people in miraculous ways prophesy gentiles come to your light kings to the brightness of thy rising your gates are continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles you will call on one person and a nation will answer you Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen, brothers and sisters, you do not do good to your loved ones if you carry all this revelation and not work with it. It has nothing to do with MOG. It's about being an ambassador, an envoy of his presence. Now you know that you are not ordinary. It's not just the issue of confessing it. It is the truth. It is your present reality. No matter how weak you think you are, our job here is to make you become strong. The Bible says ordinary men came to the cave of Adulam and David made mighty men out of them. Hallelujah. You are not ordinary. There is an anointing upon you. There is an unction. Walk conscious of it. It should not create pride and arrogance. You are like a dove. But where you see the devil, you switch and you become a roaring lion. Listen, I'm giving you an assignment this week. Take on a project. Resist the devil everywhere you see him. Are you getting my point? If you look at yourself alone and all the revelations you have alone, you are small. Are you getting my point? But realize there is an authority. Every time you stand before situations, just know that I am small. But there is one who is mightier than I. This, is, this was a testimony of John the Baptist. There is one who is mightier than I. Invoke his presence to the scene and go to bed. When you go home, all those spirits that come to molest and press you, you tell them now, I sleep in the name. Come and press me. Yes, absolutely. I told you my story. I was being oppressed by devils. Although a preacher, because I did not understand the revelation. The Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Hallelujah. I don't drive devils from me. When I caught the revelation, I went home. And I shouted. I said, the spirits that oppress me, I invite you this night. They were officially invited. Until tomorrow, they have not come. Never. Look, realize this. Just as Father Abraham and the rich man, there was a gulf that divided them. Revelation is what will exalt you. Are you getting my point? anything in your life that is not working as little as anything hallelujah you find something growing in your hand that should not grow don't just laugh see the problem is many of us are not convicted enough 
so you get ashamed once you go outside of this circle you don't want to look like you are spirit coco that's the problem so we can jump there are many of us here that you behave as if you are convinced but the sincere truth is if you walk out of here you are ashamed of everything you were shouting and praying about and when it takes it it comes to taking steps of faith even when your phone rings and it's a scripture you answer it or off it quickly lest you be embarrassed do you think that god did not know what to do with his time and he just brought men in the air to deceive them but i know whom i have believed i'm persuaded any day any time on jeans on trousers on suit i am persuaded i would die believing this revelation hallelujah please be convinced listen many of us in all sincerity we don't spend time with the word of god there are many of us after today now is until next friday again before you open your bible and start smiling you see ba brothers and sisters this thing you can't fake it if you are not doing it genuinely it will show are you getting my point no this is not one of the things you fake you can't fake conviction no you can't fake conviction you can play games with power you can do a lot of things but you cannot fake conviction hallelujah lift your hands i want to speak over your life please believe it's part of the things that we do all the time i wrote a post and i gave the media to put it on facebook i am not on facebook but once in a while as the holy spirit puts it in my heart i write these prayers and they are not just to get activities no hallelujah it's our job to speak over your life listen there is power in the blessing hallelujah many of you do not know to bless means to empower you to prosper to rise from where you are he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and earth and his destiny opened up please lift your hands i want to speak over your life hallelujah in the name of the lord jesus christ i bless you with the favor of god i declare over your life that you are well favored you are like a well watered garden whatever looks like mockery in your life i curse it now in the name of jesus christ i speak over the works of your hands i instruct them to prosper i instruct them to prosper whatever project you are having i speak to it grow in the name of jesus christ everything that is alive grows therefore i command it to grow i speak and i pray over your life all the destiny help us that are required to take you and to lift your hand and to introduce you to those who will take you to the next level i call them into your life now How many of us are ready to truly be free tonight? What you don't confront, you don't conquer, brothers and sisters. I confronted issues in my life. I took the word of God and I decided to cry for my life and my destiny. Otherwise, I would have remained a failure forever. Tonight, I want you to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty to God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that has exalted itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought every cancer every HIV every lack of progress tonight 
we are bringing it to the obedience of Christ now before I start ministering I like you to pray in one minute and confront gates and say I represent myself and my family I come as an ambassador outside make sure you participate I come in as an ambassador it's time to be released it's time to be released from the shackles of darkness I'm breaking free breaking out pray for the sake of your loved ones help your family pray for your destiny say Lord I now see the problem it's not just cancer it's not just HIV it's not just poverty it's a contention from hell hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord praise the Lord lift your hands everybody lift your hands as I pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen I tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and Lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of Jesus and Lord as I make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants I pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me I like you to shout the name the name of Jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout Kata Daba Kataya one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood let the blood speak let the blood speak Shekekeka Shekeka Marekoto Let the blood speak The blood opens every gate 
every gate. Baka papa rada bara rada rada rada. Seke te 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 te. Eke reke te ba. Masoto seka. Raba katele ke te ba. Mambre po shote ni ba 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 ba. Eh ya 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 ya. Seke te 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 te. Shaba ba 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 rada rada bash. Shaka da 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 da. Shaka ta pa ka la ba la la. Shake it, 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 it. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout, "I am free!" At the count of three, the moment you do that, there will be a release of fire. Fire! Get ready at the count of three. One, two. Shaka parada, ma poto sosoba, rekete te kababa, o salaba da kata laba kata, rekete te ba. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake te 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 te. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. How many people are trying to hold one person? Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out now. You're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones. Let her go. 
devil of darkness. Leave her now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. These are the powers, the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom. See, you must not come out here as it's happening to them, realize it's happening to you. Hallelujah. Now, anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you are standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth please lift your hands because it's time for it to go turn her look at me just look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on our family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit Many of you may not understand what is happening. I open it. I see a gate that is closed over that family. I open it now. All the chains on it, let fire fall on them. Seketa bakata. Sekete kapa. One of the horn, terminal disease. The other one delay, the other one joblessness, the other one lack of marriage. I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit. Now, now, as it's happening to her, it happens to you in the name of Jesus. your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them and we're going to take testimonies 
Hallelujah. Before Pastor Jake comes up to minister, I'm going to pray for you. Sick people, lift your hands. If you are tired of that growth, just growth of all sorts, you are tired. If you are not tired, you can put down your hand. Whether it's a lump, whether it's whatever it is. Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being. Something that looks like an alligator. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is just showing it to me. Two of you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever these two are, Lord, let your fire right now fall on those two. The power of God will come mightily upon those two people. Whether you are inside or outside, right now, the power of God will come and the fire will fall mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Say Kabalaya ba. Rakatetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to check yourself. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. Please quickly, if I, if I call your case, hurry up, don't waste time. We're still expecting the person outside. The power of God will come upon the person. Just when that happens, let the person come. Musa, I'm hearing the name Musa. Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case, or any, you are Musa, what are you waiting for? Stand up. There is witchcraft in your family, and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. Janet. 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. He's a brother. Tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, listen. There is a lady, this is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen, listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly, please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. What, no mic? Eh? That was last year and we didn't this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. At times, maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. of her now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ out out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see because i am seeing and while i stood the lord was ministering to me and the lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys it. this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture, two pictures. Listen, listen, wait, let me describe it before you come out. 
you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members please when we have that person come up what are these people here for oh i called you snake i i left her because we are going to deal with this janet where's janet who's janet three of you are janet you are from kogi state who is from kogi there is somebody from kogi janet kogi state is it kogi i think kogi is somewhere in kogi. please the lord is ministering to me let's save time because I don't want you to tie down somebody's I want God to grant us grace to minister your name is Janet your mom's name is Janet you are from Kogi State come because I see they want to kill your mother lift your hands that your mom's name is Janet I will pray for you so that she will be free Where, what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh because I'm first seeing sickness and then I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident. We must pray for her. The power of God will come upon you and it will touch her. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, by your mercy, right now, let your power set him free. My brother, I break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in her family come and stand here god is going to visit the whole family now our family if you are not part of our family don't come here please if you are part of our family just come and stand here quickly please let's save time sister look at me salvation has come to your life today this your crying is over are you hearing me because this, I must pray. This lady's family, she has suffered. You will just see a lady standing like this. That God will pick a lady out because this is, I'm seeing hardship. Yes, sir. Where are you from? From Berry. What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names salvation comes your family realize that as it's happening for one person it's happening to you too in the name of the lord jesus hold my hands do you know what i want you to do shout hold my hands shout jesus at the top of your voice can you do that jesus! family come power in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Two things the Lord wants me to pray. Number one, your mother will not be a widow. Are you hearing me? We are going to pray. We are going to break that power. Number two, there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now. Is that true? Am I making sense? There is a cause of delay. Hold your hands together. Oh, you are an usher. When I pray for you, go and continue with your work. Praise God. There is a cause of delay. Father, in the name of Jesus, you ask me to call this family out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release them from this devilish shackle of delay. There is a power of God upon my hands. I'm going to lay it upon you. 
as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay Shekata palata kata palakata balada bos Randa brecha kata balakum so prondo so brecha Delay be gone You especially Delay I cause delay Delay in school Delay in everything I cause it in the name of Jesus And forgetfulness In the name of Jesus Christ Come You Where are you from? Kaduna. You are from Kaduna. I need to pray for you. Hmm? You are not feeling very fine. Hold my hands. This is a devilish thing. Thank you, Jesus. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Stephanie, 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 Stephanie. Do we have anybody like that? Stephanie. That's the person. Bring the person in. I mean, that was the other one person. Remember our two people. hallelujah we are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program hallelujah enough is enough praise God we are going to pray for jobs two ladies you and you two of you talking come out come yes God would locate you what makes you think God will forget about you run and come come and take your breakthrough there is power in the name of Jesus. Come and join them before you do your work. See, let me tell you something. While she stood here, she was praying and saying that the Lord will locate her. Is that, is that what you were saying? Because I saw like a flash of light and I saw it written. And this was what she was thinking. And the Lord said, let her join and pray first. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit her family. Visit her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. Two friends. You who came and we are just talking, looking through the window and doing a lot of things. God is going to visit you. Where is your mother? Go and tell her huh, that by next month a big miracle is coming for her. Hmm? You know, when God tells me words like this, I'm very careful before you go and write an article on me. Now people can write all kinds of articles. Prediction incorrect. Three exclamation <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Let me pray for two. Hold. God is going to visit you. Look at me. You will be great ladies. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will come mightily upon you. Thank you, Father. Use them for your glory right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let their families be mighty. Let their lives be mighty. I separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you're outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. No. 
welfare. Please, please don't come out wondering will God heal me will God touch me yes he will yes he will hallelujah pastor Williams pastor Jakes can we quickly minister to them please as hands come worship him just lead us powerful songs of worship hallelujah as we pray for them those of you who are seated just keep praying in tongues we'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister i want god to touch everybody this night hallelujah i want god to touch everybody i pray that god will give us time hallelujah. if there is time by the grace of god we'll lay hands on everybody everybody hallelujah we're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly hallelujah worship team Savior, He can move the mountains. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesa. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty, he is mighty to save. Altar of salvation forever, and altar of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He is mighty, he is mighty to save. Author of salvation, Forever. author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Conquer the grave. Conquer the grave. Hallelujah. Please bring her, bring her up. This is my blood sister. This thing has made me angry. This is my blood sister. Blood of my blood, bone of my bones. That devil is a bastard this night. This is my own blood sister. Same father, same mother. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my sister, this is my mother's baby. Bone of our bone, flesh of our flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her. Forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness type for go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection. Everything wrong with you be healed now. Hallelujah. Sorry I took it personal. The thing pained me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. Hallelujah. Please, if you are holding a picture, just lift it up and we'll pray on it. Lift it up and we'll pray on it. Praise God. If you are holding someone's picture, just lift it up. We'll have the time when we pray on pictures. It's Hallelujah. Raining. It's raining. It's As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to specifically, you can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. <laughs> Have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it for yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Usher's coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable, something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me. The intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life? Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafi Ketalebra Sopratelia. Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Oshas, please take note. Mark Repong, Shiketa Viron, Vendele, Araba Babandaya, Rian Noroba Baba Bela Gala Bosana, Riata Pom, Rakte Ketelia, Bakitong, Shiketa Piratose, 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio rapide don rapido se pregila lingo ratica ta shakraton rebaloste Maliroko to barala na bakate go superada le bosha Thank you blessed lord Thank you blessed lord Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of ego. The Bible says, mount up with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Don't you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you rando koshi pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you Oshas help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you just bring them to the right here the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God, of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you wings to mount up wings to mount up wings to mount up just bring them to the right here bring them to the right wings to mount up wings as eagles to mount up wings 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 in the spirit wings in the spirit There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto parita bo liberosi ila raba hastu pirati landa pakiato shikse subra nende man shakila bo jale. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si pretile brendo prati kado branira pirazingo si pretila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside. I spoke about. Bariro su pretila zando roshike to branira kata piraranando sing radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. Is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their request. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on request. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we're going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spirit over 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 this request over by our satalaba. We can't keep on being a labado shitaba. We push it and we push it up. Let us be miracles, not a labrake. I say, let us be breakthrough, man. I say, let the impossible become possible. We can't pass a shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shitaba, shitaba. Let doors open. Let doors. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of our Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of our Lord Jesus, like a Oh, my inner by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, lay the enemy submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the love of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let them. Be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles. Let it happen now. Miracles. Let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let that which is impossible with man become possible now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, my God. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus. It is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, 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 oh. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We need miracles. Miracles everywhere.
Lord is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes began to speak about finances. We are going to pray for that. And for other issues. Are you ready to receive for your loved ones? Lift up your hands. It does wonders in our midst. I started seeing this since Tuesday. I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I comfort your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, doors of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Say kakabala tatabalada. Rakata preta kapagaba. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever cause needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain, we challenge it. Rekata, so sote, 
Masoto Variata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say Kabalata Kabalata. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home, I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that. The power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute and pray for yourself if you don't need it just put down your hands but if you are tired at where you are and you are saying lord i'm not too young to be blessed lift your hands when i count three shout the name of jesus the power of god then it will fall like fire that cause my god i pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies. Now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Hear me. There are many of you where you are now. You have the gift. You have the skill. You just need those who need what you have. You have it. You just need somebody. Hear me. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Hallelujah. Many of you after this meeting, I tell you on that God, they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life wherever they are except god is not god in this place i pray tonight by the power of the holy ghost i call them into your life receive their ministry receive their ministry receive their ministry Destiny help us wherever you are. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever you are from this night, through phone calls, emails, supernatural coincidences, connect to them, connect to them, connect to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray against the plague of death. 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 Lift your hands for you and your loved ones. Hear me. The Bible says, with long life, it didn't say, will I give you? It said, will I satisfy you? You are supposed to be satisfied with it. Hallelujah. And no devil should cut short your life. I want to pray for you now. Every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, you are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down. So that nobody will bless you. This night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my brother, brother, sir, arise. Hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does, prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you, Anything that touches your hand fails. No matter what it is from tonight, that yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray against habits. Look at me. There are people dying of all kinds of habits, from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is what gives Satan access into the lives of many people. Doesn't matter how they pray for you, doesn't matter how they, they deliver you, you will find yourself. Paul said that the things that I want to do. I do not find myself doing them. He said, and the things that I don't want to do, that's what I find myself doing it. He said, with my spirit, I serve the Lord. But in my body, I see another law working in my members. And he said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I want to pray for you. Take this prayer very seriously. Because many of us, after all the prayers and the deliverances, we keep opening doors. I want to pray for you. It takes grace. It's not about struggle. Listen. Say, look at me. If you want to use willpower to say, I want to force myself not to sleep with this sister, you are joking. Except you are not a man that God created. Many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in you see grace 
is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh the baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout and amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm showing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad are you getting what i'm saying 
and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you are struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. The sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough. We love miracles. But this passion for God is not there. We can run to God and come and make promises. Oh God, I will do X, Y, Z. But except your heart is with God, blessings will kill you. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, the day you see one million in your account with your eyes, that day you will tell God, wait, till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away, you will remember God again. I want to pray. For me, I consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting. And it's an impartation. I want to release grace and fresh fire. Please stand up, everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came, especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry. You cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way. You will struggle for nothing. It's what will make you angry with people. And it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power. There are pastors now running helter skelter, going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people no is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and saying, Lord, my prayer life is dead. There is even nothing there again. There are some of you, your word life is dead. The last time you read your Bible was during Koinonia last week. I'm going to pray for you. There will be an impartation. And I'm going to release spiritual gifts. Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift." This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do it is not there. Period.
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people i have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today i want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for god and your christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted Jesus, let a fire of impartation. Your people need fire. They need power in their life. Right now at the count of three, there will be a release of mighty impartations. After the count of three, I'd like you to shout out this with goodness. The power of God will move in a mighty way. I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba 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 sheka la bariara. Sheke te 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 te. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake ta 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 Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit. Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a symbol. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So toto kaba. Rekete nekata. Ba proto shota ba la 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 la. Let the gift of prophecy. I command prophetic fountains at the count of three be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take it, Rebosha. Toto Soka. Shake it, take it. Grace for visions. Grace for prophecy. 
dimensions of spiritual experiences. Gift of tongues. Receive it. Interpretation of tongues. The working of miracles. The working of miracles. The mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs. Blind eyes will be open. Deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they're in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush, come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more count and we are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. It's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes into your life, he truly brings peace. We are waiting for you quickly. Quickly, anybody. Appreciate them. They are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. This is why God brought you here. Hallelujah. Now, those of you in front, I congratulate you for coming. 
to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we would like to see you at chapel, just close to the bookstand, chapel, ABU. Please try to come around. Hallelujah. Those who invited them, encourage them so that they can come. We we'll pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and we we'll follow you up. May God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Kata Bakotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.